Hi everyone, another day, another share. Um, my setup is a little different. I have my long arm behind me and I wanted to show you um, something to do with fullness in the borders and how to prevent that from happening. And if you follow these instructions, I think your long armor will love you. All right, so when you put on, we take, Okay, so when we work very hard to make sure that our blocks are squared and then we put our blocks together and they fit beautifully, there's maybe on occasion some fullness within the blocks or between the blocks, but not enough to um, distort the quilt. We can, we can, as a long armor, we can deal with some of that and some of it just disappears as we quilt because when you quilt, the stitching will pull down some of the fabric and then pull back up so there's a ridge right where the stitching uh, is happening so sometimes that fullness just kind of mm, goes away but when we get to our borders and I and I get this a lot of people are uh, been working on this quilt for a long long time they're frustrated they're they're um, maybe tired of looking at it <laughs> and they just slap as I call slap the borders on and what I mean by that is they they don't measure they take a long strip and sew them on this is where the problem comes if the edge of your body of your quilt with all your piecework is why longer than the center you are adding more fabric as you put borders on than you need and it's gonna look like this there's all this fullness here and this is exactly what happened. It came off of this border. This is actually a bias edge, and down the sides was a bias edge. These are chevrons, and the, the, the rows are cut here on the bias. Now, she's done an amazing job within the center, but I think she got frustrated and just said, oh, I'm just going to slap, not thinking that that she's compounding a problem because that edge is longer than than um, than it needs to be right so or than the center so I'm gonna explain to you what to do to fix that so here is a, a picture of a quilt and you've gone and pieced all these blocks together and everything lies fairly square and flat now you need to put borders on so my suggestion is you measure from the, if you're putting the two side borders on, you want to measure down the center, down the center, and take that measurement and cut your two side borders that size. Now, they are going to be maybe a little shorter than the edge, than the edge of this quilt body. You line up, you find the center of the border and the center of the body of the quilt, and you pin those together. Then you pin your raw edges at the top and bottom, and then whatever is extra, you ease in. When you get to the sewing machine, the side that has m more fabric on it, you put that down against your feed dogs, and it will just take up the excess because your feed dogs feed your fam the bottom fabric that's against it against the the feed dogs through the machine a tad faster than the um, top you do not want to have a walking foot to do this because then the walking foot is feeding the top fabric at the same speed as the bottom fabric and you won't take up you will have a problem so take off your walking foot put on a regular foot or your quarter inch foot that's what I sew with hundred percent and then put whatever side that has more fabric put it on the bottom and then just so and you'll see that it just the feed dogs will just ease up and then when you finish you will open that up and iron it and there will not be any creases pins uh, pleats or anything you do that for this uh, if you did the side borders first then you would measure across this, this side to get that measurement cut your top and bottom borders and put them on in the same manner and you continue doing that till all the borders that you want are on okay if you decide to do a piece border uh, you take those measurements and you calculate the the piece border and this and the shapes 
to fit so you have to do some math and then you have to cut your your squares or your triangles or whatever the case may be to fit those measurements that you've gotten and then everything will be square and everything will be fine and you won't end up having these kind of wrinkles um, in your border and it's coming off of this black border back here and then it gets, just gets more and more so now I have to ease all this in and I'm probably going to get my tomato cans, the big ones, out to put on either side of the machine to uh, try to um, help ease it all in. And we'll see you on the next other day, another share. Bye-bye.